Lord mercy, the bro. House. Naked with a boner. Naked with a boner. I don't know your name, but excuse me, bitch. I smack your ass across the room. Let's watch this. Leave a like and subscribe right now, or she will visit you in your bed tonight. Ask Reddit. What was the worst thing you did as a horny teen? There was this girl I had a crush on when I was 13 or 14, that I sat beside in class. She had this habit of biting on her pen. I remember we were joking one day about how gross it was that she bites on her pen, because she bit a hole in it, and you could see her spit starting to collect in the tube of the pen. About an hour after that I grabbed the pen from her desk took it to the bathroom, emptied all the saliva from it onto my dick, and jerked off using her Oh hell no! <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Prison needs to be prison bro no this nigga needs sort of so, like straight up straight up prison matter of fact no nah, fuck that fuck that chat electric chair electric chair right now <laughs> what the fuck what the actual fuck did i just hear my a spit as lube after i returned the pen to her desk that is literally the most ducked up thing I ever did sexually. I remember I felt guilty about it for days having went to Catholic school. Bro. You need to be a bro. I think it'd be like on a exceeded level of horniness to be like doing that shit, bro. Exceeded level. We had a family party at my hot cousin's house one day, and when nobody was looking, I went over to their key rack and pocketed one of their house keys. After the party I went to Home Depot, and made a duplicate of their house key. Her parents got mad at the rest of the family a day later, because their key was missing. So in the middle of the night I went to their house, put the original key on the porch, rang the doorbell, and ran like hell. Now I had to play the waiting game. Their whole family went on vacation to Vegas for spring break so this was my chance. In the middle of the night, after my dad dropped them off at the airport, I used the duplicate key to quietly break into their house. Now I was free to do what I was planning for the last few months. I immediately went to my hot cousin's room and stripped myself naked. I had this rush that I never experienced before because I was technically committing a crime while horny. I went into her closet and practically dove into her dirty laundry pile, rolling around in it, sniffing the duck out of it, and thing my dirty teenage self could think of. I rolled around in her bed and jizzed all over it, while what? In her dirty laundry. Stop it. Get some help. After about 30 minutes I got nervous, because I left so many lights on, and saw a couple neighbors on the phone, staring at the house. <laughs> and jumped the fence, only to come face to face with another neighbor who for sure saw my face. He tried to grab my arm, but I was too quick for him and I did. To this day I'm scared as duck to go in their neighborhood. What the Holy fuck? Shit, that was the greatest experience of my life. Worth, Worth it. it. Bro, these niggas are fun. No, bro. Bro, where are the feds when you need them? <laughs> You have to be to be on this type of timing, bruh. This nigga said he just on her clothes. Like, what? Like, what? Like, what was roaring up and like, just on the clothes and shit, bro? Oh my god, bruh. That seems like a lot of work. To get a quality, quality fan. I applaud your effort though. No, like you need to I be washed. To steal panties. Every chance I had to sneak off to some girl's room and grab a quick thong, I hopped on that shit. I plundered the drawers of middle school girlfriends, daughters of family friends, and friends' sisters. 
I still see some of those people, and I'll think about how close I sometimes came to be in court. <sighs> when I was 12, I was home alone and extremely horny. When masturbation wasn't enough, I walked around- When masturbation wasn't enough? What you mean if it wasn't enough? How do you be that horny? <laughs> what else do you have to do to fix that? <laughs> God. My mercy, Around the bro. house, naked with a boner. Naked with a boner. I don't know your name, but excuse me, bitch. I smack your ass across the room. I'm sorry. Wait, what? Whatever. I ain't gonna watch that. Look, I don't care about home alone. I'm not walking around the house naked. I'm not walking around the house naked. I'm gonna be hundred percent with you. Especially with a boner. I'm not I'm not about to do all that. I was looking for somewhere to put it in. What? After some searching, I saw my bicycle. I laid it down on the floor and pillar drive my penis into the peg. I only got two pumps in before I realized how terrible of an idea this was. I proceeded to feel disgusted with myself for the rest of the summer. <laughs> Bro, you couldn't find like a like you really couldn't find anything else in the house to do that with. You use your bicycle. Your bicycle out of all things. What is what is this, bro? I will lie. Some of y'all horny niggas. This this might be you. Scared a ride. School told me and my friend about sex and masturbation and all that good stuff. He didn't really go into the details however, all I got out of it was that, if you get naked and a bed is involved you'll have a good time. So I got naked, and sat on my bed. I sat there for a bit and nothing happened. So eventually I gave up, and got up and bam, giant shit stain all over where I was sitting. To explain to my parents I just told them I was changing my underwears and farted. Also I'm a girl. Edit. I, I can't, I legit can't stop pausing. I can't stop pausing because every single story I've heard from this video is weird. All right. Every single story. This one, I mean, I mean, okay, it's not, okay, I, I would say, okay, it's not as bad as like the last couple stories, but it's still like, yo, what the fuck? Bro, imagine the parents though. They must have been pissed. They had to clean up a whole, all them sheets and shit. For those asking, Crazy. I actually did fart. That's how the shit got there. In my mind it comes down to one or two things that I can think of. In wait, wait, niggas literally do physical damage to their cock in order to satisfy their horniness. <laughs> Bro, kid said when masturbation wasn't enough. <laughs> how is that possible? How the fuck is that possible? In my 8th grade Spanish class, everybody was kind of paired off with their desks. And I sat next to this one girl who I only really knew because of her boyfriend. We started talking some, and it got kind of flirty and I decided one day I would just whip out my dick. So I did that What? Class. I then proceeded to beat one off for her while the teacher was going on about one thing or another. That was an oddly invigorating experience. This one isn't completely the worst thing I did, but, in 9th grade, my girlfriend at the time, gave me a blowjob this public second floor balcony, that people used to enter, and exit the second floor of the building. Underneath this balcony was a restaurant, and being that it was midday, people were at the restaurant. I guess it was hard to tell, when I would have finished, because she was completely flabbergasted, when I came in her mouth. She ended up going to the edge of the balcony and spitting it down to the restaurant seating below. We heard someone shout something up at us, but we bolted back inside before anything could happen. Oh my Definitely god! My finer moments. Oh. Who hasn't been there? Class, you put FBI's watch list. No, bro, bro, <laughs> bro. That is Lily's like sexual predator tendencies. 
why are you doing that in the middle of class, bro? Like, to a... Oh, my God, bro. Go to the bathroom, at least. At least go to that bathroom or something. But second of all, like, what was that second thing? She, he was getting his dick sucked on a, on a balcony, and he nutted in the girl's mouth, and then she just spit it out over the balcony, and it hit, like, some some restaurants. Like, what, bro? As you get nut spit dropped on your food <laughs> from the balcony. <laughs> bro, you have to fight somebody for that shit. Either the restaurant owner, uh, as either restaurant owners or someone. Quite long, but it's pretty interesting in my opinion. So let's get to it. I was 16, home alone, and a druggie. I did a line of booger sugar, since I knew my mom wouldn't be home to- Booger sugar! <laughs> so late. Anyways, I got super horny, and jacked off about three times, but I was still high and- Wait, 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 You were 16, doing booger sugar? 16 years old! So I put on a speedo I had from swim team, and while I was in the restroom admiring how fine I looked, I spotted something that could cure my horniness, a plunger. No. So I got the plunger and thought about no. how I would go about this. No. I figured it was way too dirty to just use as is, so I got a condom and no. slapped it on that bad boy. But I ran into another problem, no lube. So I went down to my kitchen. Nigga, you gotta be ashamed of yourself, nigga. Wait, is this a guy or a girl? This has to be a girl, right? This has to be a girl. Cause cause where are you where are you putting the condom on anyway? How you put uh, you, 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 you stretch the condom on the bottom? No, no. Wait I'm I'm so confused, bro. What? I'm so confused. It's I it, bro, it's either a girl or I I don't, don't want to hope it. I don't want to think that it's the second thing. I I, I don't want to assume that it's the second thing. If you know what I mean. Optimus Prime transform. If I couldn't find something to use as lube, then I and jacked off. I mean, girls can jack off too. It don't really matter. Like, feel is a dude. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. He went, wait, wait, wait. He ran to the restroom, all of the condom plunger, and stuck it all. I saw it. Vegetable oil. So I ran to the restroom, oiled up the oh, condom no. plunger. Oh, no. Oh, no. Stuck it to the door and shot. Oh, my God. <laughs> that bad boy up the old poop chute. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> I fucking knew it, bro. I knew it. I fucking knew it. I'm like, bro. <laughs> it didn't make any sense. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. You bring a condom on a plunger? I'm like, how does that work? I'm like, I thought he's gonna take like, the plunger and just like, you know, but like, he said you put a condom on a plunger. I'm like, wait, what? Why would you, why would you get do that? And he said, loop. I'm like, huh? <laughs> I'm like, this is a girl. <laughs> Bro, what the fuck? So there I was riding the plunger with my speedo still on while whacking off ferociously when it starts to stink to high hell, and I kind of got a grip on what I was doing. But I thought, hey, duck it, I've already come this far, might as well finish. So I shot my load, wiped it with a speedo, and threw it, and the condom in my dumpster outside, to never be discovered. After my moment of shame my ass started to bleed, and hurt like hell, so I did the only sensible thing, another line and then I shoved one of my mom's tampons up my no, ass No, this is a lie, this is a I fake story. To try relax after this is a fake story, bro. Ordeal. This is a so fake story. I'm watching some TV in my That's room, a fake ass story. I my mom no. In the front door, no. But she's not alone. She brought her damn boyfriend home. That's when I heard her yell turn it come and meet my ass hat of a new boyfriend no. so i freaked i still had that tampon up my bum hole no. but being high on coke i figured shit i'm a damn rock star i got this so i go down there confident as can be and meet this huge brick shit house of a man all the while a tampon is dangling out of my ass 
Everything was going well, until I sat on the couch to chat, the tampon got sucked up into my abyss of a rectum. So I tried to rush to my room, as soon as small talk was done, but my mom dropped a bomb. She tells me that they picked up Chinese and they want me to sit and eat with them at the table, so I have no choice. As I'm sitting there I feel the Tammy start playing prairie dog with my brown starfish. Then I felt the worst sensation to date, the blood and poop covered tampon came squeezing out of ass. What? Pat exclaimed what the hell is that smell? Something dying here? I said the dog must have pooped somewhere. This is and a, this, clean it up. This is big as shit. The poop and blood covered tampon between this my is cheeks big all shit, the way bro. to the room where I disposed of it. I then promptly took a shower. There. Bro, there's a reason why the story is so damn long, bro. Cause he's just rambling. It's and fake. And myself for bed. This shit happened. In grade. It did happen. I don't give a fuck. It did happen, bro. Why would the first? Why would your first thought is to put a tampon up your ass? When you have when you're bleeding, and by the way, if if that story were real, chat, I'll, I'll, let me ask you a question. Name name that race. <clears throat> name that race. I saw a girl Connors, who touched Caucasian. the edge of her desk, not like Nick. Oh wait, I saw a girl who touched the edge of her desk. He could boob or anything, but like fully clothed boob. When nobody was in the room. I went over and licked the desk. What? I'm not proud of this. What the fuck? <laughs> Nigga, this is weird. Got an in-house suspension, <laughs> which is when you have to sit in a room all day at school, rather than stay at home. The room I had to stay in was attached directly to the vice principal's office. It had nothing in it except for a table and a chair. I was supposed to be doing homework all day. After a few hours of doing nothing and no one checking in on me, I beat the shit out of my dick. Came on the carpet. What? Reposting my comment. Beat oh, no, the wait, shit wait, out wait, of my dick. After a few hours of doing nothing and no one checking in on me, I beat the shit out of my dick. Came on the carpet. Niggas on the carpet. Why on the carpet, bro? Fing in on me. I beat the shit out of my dick. Came on the carpet. Crazy. Reposting my comment from a similar thread about a year ago. I was about 13. I was out fishing in the great outdoors, mm, okay. swimming through the water, and fishing in one of these things. Was swimming through the water and fishing in one of these things. Okay. So I'm partially <laughs> under the water. I'd been out there for a while, and I got the urge. Odd, since there's nothing boner inducing about fishing, perhaps it was a boredom boner, since I wasn't getting any bites. Long story short, I jerked it. I came into the water and the current began to take it. It was no more than five or so feet away <laughs> from me when a fish came up and ate it. I took <laughs> Bro, what the fuck is this shit, man? What is this? What the fuck is all this, man? I I can't even believe what I'm hearing. <laughs> it's a mermaid. <laughs> hey, bro, it's a sperm aid. That's what it fuck. That's what the fuck it is. Turn to rain. Hey, I told y'all them fish. I told you them fish is freaks. Them fish is freaks, bro. Y'all know it. Boat trout into a cum dusseling fish whore. Wait, what? He turned a rainbow trap to a cum guzzling fish whore. Oh my god. Was <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. Really young, right before I really learned how to properly fap, but still exploring sexual stuff. I would do things like hump my pillow, or carve a hole into a nerf ball for my wang. Carve a hole into a nerf ball for- Bro. 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 <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Bro, what the fuck is oh? How are you that horny? What are you? As, what are you? As bro, even as a kid, what is what goes to your mind? Just to carve out a to carve out a hole and just put your dick in. How are you? Th where are you thinking that from, bro? How do you get that like urge or like idea to just to do that? I don't understand. What question is all this kids nerf balls is wearing? <laughs> Bro, imagine he's just outside playing with a nerf, like a, a nerf football or some shit. And uh, another, this another kid catches it. He's like, what's this hole for? And the kid's just like, uh, I don't know, my dog ate it or some shit. It's just... All that was well and good until I tied my dick to my chair and then proceeded to trip over a...
Oh, wait, hold on. What do you say? He tied your dick to his shield and proceed to triple. Stuffed animal. Almost ripping my dick off. What? I still have the scars. Oh, the humanity. Why? Why would you do that? What is the thought process with these chicks, bro? What is the thought process? Oh my god. I had a really soft and fluffy blanket on my bed. I would get naked and lay on it because it was so soft. Then I started moving around and found out how great it felt on my dick. I would eventually start to come on that blanket. A lot. What? Several times a night. No clean up. I just left it. My mom mentioned how dirty it was when she washed it one time. Is it? Apparently I'm no getting tagged as cum blanket. Duck. She knew. That was probably her subtle way of saying stop jizzing on the blanket it's gross. What? Bro, huh? So, so this nigga was just sleeping on a cum covered blanket? I masturbated on an airplane. That was cool, I guess. Hijacking. There I said it. Oh my god. Bro, chat. Y'all remember when we were playing Guess Me Watch that one day? <laughs> and one of the questions was. Uh, what, what the fuck was the question? What, what, uh, what percentage of. What, what percentage of people have been in the Mile High Club by themselves? <laughs> I guess this thing is part of that group. <laughs> bro, it was like, it was like 2%, bro. <laughs> it's like, it's like, what the fuck? I used to ride my bike quite a lot when I was a teenager. One day, I got this idea to ride my bike to my grandmother's house. It's about 8 miles round trip. So I ride my bike out there, and sure as shit, they are not home. There's a huge hill probably a quarter of a mile long, and on the way down this hill I rode with no hands, and then it struck me. I shoved my hand in my pocket, and beat my shit until I came, riding a bike no handed, down a fairly steep hill. I think about this quite often, and I'm so glad I didn't fall off my- Nah, that's fake, that's bullshit, that's bullshit bro. A little brazy thing for the follow bro. That's fake as shit bro. That has to be fake. So tell me, for a quarter of a mile, you rode down the hill on a bike with no hands, and you were beating your dick until you nutted while riding the bike. That's impossible. That's actually impossible. There's no way you can actually do that. You know how much focus you need to do that? You know how much focus you need to do that? <laughs> What do you even think about? You don't have no material? My bike. I ain't even mad. That's impressive. That's Used a plastic sandwich bag as a condom. Oh my god. I once heard a story about two people using a lace chip bag as a condom. Oh my god. Needless to say the girl needed medical attention afterwards. <laughs> what? <laughs> Bro, you think it's kid? Bro. Like, a, a, a lace chips bag? Like, really? What do you hope to accomplish doing that? Like, my nigga, at least, at least it's not, I mean, at least it's like a plastic bag or something. Tripping. Family size or snack size. Shoulder gone with Pringles, I guess. When I was 12, I used anything I could get my hands on to masturbate. Pens, hairbrush handles, and, most memorably, marbles. Okay, well, okay. First of all, this is a girl. Masturbation isn't morally bad, guys. Masturbation is healthy for the body. I suppose. It relieves stress. Pens, hairbrushes, hairbrush handles, and most memorably, marbles. I would just let them roll around. Wait, 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 wait. Marbles? <laughs> wait. Hold on, wait, wait. I, I missed that last one. Wait, marbles? How you how you do that with marbles? I was a weird kid. Edit. I was going through my drawer and I found the same marbles. They are kind of gross. Hey honey, you ever notice sometimes Jessica sounds like a can of spray paint when she comes down the stairs? Oh my god. Oh my god. 
Bro, y'all <laughs> Bro, it took me it took me a second to get it. I'm like, wait a minute, what? I'm like, oh because <laughs> Hey, hey, you a funny guy, you a funny guy. That's the name. Lost my virginity in the gym bathroom during lunch. How is good old coach McJellicutty? Is this nigga serious? As a young horny male teen, I could easily whack it three to four times a day, double that for the weekends. I was also fairly adventurous in my self pleasation. Three to four times a good day. Old lefty and righty. What? Wait, wait, what? Adventures in my self pleasuration. Having grown tired of old lefty and righty, one night I made a game changing. I made a game changing observation. <laughs> My erect dick fits snugly into an empty paper towel roll. Oh my god. Clearly realizing the cardboard tube would tear my woody to shreds. What? I needed some kind of lubricant. Oh Shaving my... cream would become that game changing Shaving cream! Good doll Barbasol would have worked fine, but I had something else. <laughs> Edge sensitive skin shave gel. Now guys, if you have used this product on your face you know two things. One, this shit expands like crazy. And two, it leaves your face with a tingly clean feeling. So, having filled the roll with said lubricant, I began going to town. Not too long after, I began to feel the familiar tingle that has made this shave gel famous. Except, because it was all over my penis, the sensation was multiplied by 100. I was horny, and determined so I fought through it. Ended up getting off and immediately taking a shower to rid my body of the zesty tingle. So word of advice guys, if you are going to use a paper towel roll, and shaving cream as duck toys, don't use shave gel. Use Barbasol, it's also way cheaper. Back in the glory days of teeming teenager sexuality, me and a few friends made a fake vagina of sorts. We took a solo cup, and stuffed it with papaya towels until a nice, cushy tunnel was formed. We then took a plastic sandwich bag, and lined the paper towel tunnel. We headed on down to my friend's camper in the woods and each took a turn ducking it. What? The back for a clean one after each use. Where things really took a turn was, when we ran out of lotion to lubricate our franken pussy with, and used shampoo instead. Dick dried out so bad I got an open sore, and being 13 I couldn't keep my hands off myself to let it properly heal for a good 6 to 8 months. This one is from- Wait, what? How are y'all that horny, bro? ...to let it properly heal for a good 6 to 8 months. This one is from my teenage years. I reckon I was in the 6th or the 7th grade. I was really really awkward around girls, and going to an all boys school didn't really help the case. Or maybe that's why I was awkward. So once I had a girl from my neighborhood come over at my house. We played around a bit, and when she left, I quietly went in the kitchen, and took the glass she used to drink water from, and kept it in my room. No. I actually preserved it for over a month. I don't know what I was planning to do with it. Mm. Edit. Ah. Duck it. It's a throwaway. I kissed it. To get an indirect kiss. And now I'm sad. <laughs> Edit two. It's comforting to know that I'm not alone. Nigga, come you, on, bro. Trip. I was trying to be super quiet, didn't make a sound, but couldn't stop my legs from twitching now and then. I thought I got away with it. Until just after I- Oh my god, no, 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 Came, when she rolled over, threw her hand up over her face, and started laughing hysterically. I was so embarrassed that I ran in the bathroom and threw up and laughing hysteric no no nah, bro no 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 hey <laughs> something wrong with this mom bro God. then slept on the floor she laughed at me the entire rest of the trip what the duck was wrong with me I still want to throw up when I think about it she says it's her fault for never teaching me anything about sex slash the human body slash puberty at any point in my life, but... What?
What? Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Nah, there's something, there's something going on with that mom we don't know about, bro. There's something going on with that mom we don't know about. So, she blames herself for it. And top of all, she laughs at it. That's that's not the, that's not a really proper reaction to do that when your kid is literally nutting in your fucking bed. Context <laughs> I don't know, slash bro. the human body slash. This whole video is just weird. My life, but my parents were worried I had sleep apnea. They scheduled a sleep study for me. They hooked me up to all these sensors and told me not to roll over too much. The nurse administering the sleep study was really 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 ducking hot, and I could see her through the glass in the other room while I was supposed to be sleeping. She was talking to another nurse and they were laughing and joking. I couldn't hear them, but oh my god she was unbelievable to look at. So, I rubbed one out. Had no idea they could tell, by reading data from those sensors. Them explaining the readings to my parents was really awkward. <laughs> Bro, what do you even say? <laughs> bro, you could've just been like, hey, I was watching a, I was watching a horror movie, bro. I was just watching a horror movie. <laughs> hey, I, I was getting scared of some shit. <laughs> but this is actually crazy as fuck. I ain't gonna lie. We, try, we should make this a series. I might watch some more of these on stream. This is hilarious. This is a whole archive of this. Audio Jungle.